I want him to have access to quality education, sports that maybe we didn't. I want him to have the opportunity to, if he has a passion, he, he's able to pursue it. So I want him to be able to know himself and lean into the things that he enjoys more than anything. I feel like stability is first and foremost. Because without stability, I'm a prime example that I couldn't juggle school, I couldn't juggle uh, going to work, I couldn't, you know, it was very hard, it was very hard. Stability is, I feel like it should be at the top of the list. So me and my little Maltese dog that I had were the first ones to move in here. I think really after the building started to fill up and there were more people here, I felt safe. For some reason, I felt safe right away. I raised my two boys by myself and I didn't plan properly for this stage of life. It was actually my oldest son that said, Mom, you have to get on a list, you have to get on a list, and I, because I lost my house. It was very shocking to me for the first, well, really for the first year and a half. And it shouldn't have been, but it was. And really being here was the first time that I would not wake up during the night and think to myself, how am I gonna do it? Thank God for this place, that's all I can say for Eden Housing. The difference from me being unhoused to being housed, I'm happier, I speak more, I help more, I'm gaining my weight back, I'm motivated, I'm doing more. Um, I even got myself a little pup. A neighbor of my mom heard about the new apartments being built right on the corner. So we lived in Sacramento Street and Nugent Square apartments were being built right on the corner. So was, we can see the building from our window. We didn't know anything of it, but her neighbor got information that it was affordable housing. And she was like, uh, you need to apply. Like, yeah, I think while that was happening, I didn't have these emotions, but looking back at it, it's, it's, it's a pivotal moment that, that shaped, shaped my family's trajectory for sure. Living in San Diego, especially when I worked downtown, we would see a lot of homelessness, people lining the streets. So we just don't have enough housing. Since I moved into Coronado Terrace, it's been a great experience because I feel like I'm on a good path. I've been able to prioritize my bills more effectively because I don't have to decide, you know, whether it's going to be rent one month or groceries the next. It's a lot easier and makes me feel more secure because I'm able to get both of those. I'm even able to go out and do fun things like maybe take my son to SeaWorld or take him out to the beach and do other fun activities. I heard about um, Housing Trust of Silicon Valley through a recruiter and I didn't, I didn't even know that the space existed. I was excited to learn more about it and through the interview process uh, I just learned of the amazing work that they're doing, and I've always been inclined to just do meaningful work that has impact. That's how I got in, and I mean, I've loved it ever since. I've, I, it's been probably the most excited I've been about a job and uh, the space that I'm in, so it feels super fulfilling. I've told all my friends, I've even invited friends to a grand opening so they can see uh, what affordable housing is. I think not a lot of people know how amazing it is and then also just they probably have a different connotation of what affordable housing is and what it looks like and it's like you said it's pristine housing it's like they look like market rate apartments it's, it's, it's somewhere that people can be proud to live in and it's just amazing so any chance I, I hear of or opportunities I hear of, of uh, open wait lists and I know I have friends that have families that are living in situations where um, they're barely making ends meets with the market rates here in the area. I'm always pushing. I've sent the Eden Housing list of apartments to family, friends, everyone. And I'm like, you just got to be patient. Just submit your application, wait, and once it happens, move fast. Because I think you're, you're not going to, you're going to be very happy if, if you get in and it's going to change your life. Our founding board member, Bill Vandenberg, sent me a note on uh, McGovern for President Stationery the day that redevelopment went away. And it said something to the effect of, I bet you're feeling sorry for yourself right now. And I kind of was, because I was a little overwhelmed. And he said, 
You know, your job is to sharpen your pencil and figure this out. There's far too many people who need housing for you to give up. And so that is the legacy of what Eden is about. And I hope that 55 years from now, we are still fighting the good fight.